Let's remove a small portion of our day to consider a big thought. No, I'm sorry, but if you choose to play along, I can't give you your minute back. Consider the shape for a minute. Consider as much about it as you can. Consider how it relates to this cube. Consider everything that you can about that shape for one minute. We can think about a lot of things in one minute, can't we? After enough minutes spent thinking on a subject, you can come to some pretty incredible insights. Did you catch that each one of these pluses of edges corresponds with one of the faces on a cube? But let me show you some other things that, despite your minute of thought on the subject, you probably didn't have them occur to you. What if, what if your brain could process much faster? What if a single minute that was spent thinking about a subject was actually more like 10 minutes? That would be an order of magnitude more thought than you just spent. What if it, was, what if it were two orders of magnitude? What if it were three? Then your single minute spent thinking about that shape would be more like a thousand minutes. Imagine the insights that could be gained on a single subject after a thousand minutes of concentration on that subject. Let's consider what Nick Bostrom has to say in his incredible book, Superintelligence. A speed superintelligence is a system that can do all that a human can do, but much faster. Now I'm paraphrasing, but according to Bostrom, if a mind operates fast enough, things would appear to it to happen in slow motion. So let's consider the very short drive of Lego Man and Thing 2. Stop! So what exactly gives Thing 2 the right to be smiling with smug satisfaction right now? Well, Lego Guy has every right to be concerned. Well, it's because on the way down, Thing 2 has all the time in the world to make preparations for the inevitable, impending doom that Lego Man faces. You see, Thing 2's brain has been replaced with a brain emulator, which runs at a much, much faster processing speed than a normal brain. Now, of course, Thing 2 is still in quite a predicament, and he's still subject to the laws of physics just like anybody else. But the difference in this case is that he has all the time in the world to make his preparations for a soft landing so he can manipulate the physical world so as to maximize his safety. You know, like prepare to do a perfect tuck and roll 